Oh, there's plenty of kickers in there. I reckon I hit the mother load. Let's check it out. Oh, nice. All right. That's lunch sorted. Morning ladies and gents and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure, my very first one for 2020. And look, I've lied to you already, it's not a fishing adventure. It's summer in southeast Queensland, we're going prawning. Here with Tez and his mate Rob. Lads. Lads. Currently looking for a few prawns, We've got the nets in the boat, and with a bit of luck we're going to end up with a feed of tasty little morsels. But first step, we've got to find them, so we're going to do that once we do. We'll, uh, we'll get you back on the screen and hopefully we'll be getting a few. Well, new year, new net. Merv's made me up another net. This one is an absolute beast. Gone for a different colour as well. Dark purple. Apparently makes it easier to see the prawns. Hasn't touched the water yet. So I'm looking forward, seeing how it goes. Oh yeah. Feels good. Well, Rob's first cast, he's got a prawn sandwich. Nicely done, Rob. Just uh, scanning the sounder now, trying to find a bit of life. There's smatterings, but nothing too convincing just yet. Yeah, but... Well, it's slowly chipping away. Probably got about, I don't know, one and a half litres so far. We're just looking for the prawns at the moment. Small smatterings on the bottom there. Nothing too crazy. Slowly chipping away. Bit better there. New net is going pretty good though. Cast very well. Oh, that's a bit better. We've got eight instead of four. Oh, my her first herring of the season too. Oh no, my first two herring of the season. Hey? Herring. I'll take you. Well, there we go. We're doing it the hard way, eight at a time. Hopefully, they uh, get a bit thicker as the tide goes up. They're a good average size prawn, probably a medium. Good for this time of the year. Need about 19 litres more. <laughs> They're not bad prawns. Yeah, not too bad. So that's the size prawns we're getting at the moment. That's a pretty good early season prawn. Very early in the season. That's probably the bigger of the bunch. It's good prawn mixed in with kind of, so we'd call that a medium, and mixed in with a few kind of smalls. So anything under that sort of size, is, unless you're keeping them for bait, which is uh, something you should check with your local authorities about. Uh, you're probably not worth keeping them for a fee. They're, bit too much effort for the uh, reward but you know you end up with a bucket full of them absolutely laughing good nice size prawn nice banana prawn hey hold it up Jono before you dump it nice mate 
little football. Hang on, I'm gonna get one in. Watch it, Rob. All good. Oh, this feels a bit better. This feels like prawn season. That's, that's better. Oh, that's a bit better. Found a few more now. Nah, starting to put a bit of a feed together. But, got to get a net in the water. Strike while the iron's hot. Righto, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I've, uh, I've switched boats. I've ditched Tez with a mate of mine, Jono, and his old man, Les. And um, look, we're about to show you something pretty cool. Now, Jono's son, Bill, got a brand spanking new cast net for his birth name. Now, that's, that's, not, that's not anything crazy, except Bill's eight. And I reckon he can throw a net probably better than 90% of you guys out there. So he's gonna show us how he does it. Righto, Bill, you ready, mate? So talk us through. What are you gonna do here first? First, I'm gonna pull it up, find just two bits of line. Try and make the chain even. So it's nice and even there. Looking good. Up and down. Pull the back one up. Speak up, Paul. Nice and loud so people can hear you. Right, are you ready to throw? Yeah. Right, far away. <laughs> That's not bad, mate. That is not bad. High five. Feel any prawns yet? You feel a couple? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I've got some. All right. Give us a look. Nicely done. There you go, guys. Bill's eight and he can do it, so you've got no excuses. Get out here and come prawning. Good work. Well, Jono and Bill, they've got their limit, so I suppose I better put some work into getting ours. Feels alright. That feels alright. Right. Hey.
slowly but surely. I said slowly but surely. That's better. That's a nice throw. Well, I'm not getting a massive amount at a time, but that's a good little throw. Maybe half a kilo or so. Probably medium size prawns. Sort size a little bit down from where we were, but definitely not complaining. A lot better numbers. Keep chipping away. It's going to be a grind day. There we go. On the sorting table. You the sort balls, bring bring him flashbacks. Um, if you're gonna do it, I'd be going forwarding out there. There's not nothing under the boat. Oh well, bit of rain, wet anyway. one and a third of the way there then we can go home just a change spot nice little little uh, patch here good size too a bit better than we're getting up the top there so keep plodding away on these ones Well, it was a bit of a grind, but we got there in the end. We've got our boat limit, which is now, it's a new limit now. It's uh, 20 litres per boat, 10 litres per person or 20 litres per boat. So that's 
what 10 litres looks like. Nice football of prawns. We've got two of them, so I think we uh, best get home and fire up the cooker and I'm looking forward to a fresh feed of prawns. It's been a year. We're overdue. Let's do it. See you back at home. Righto guys, we're back at the house now. It's time to cook up some prawns. Now I reckon I've got about six litres here for myself um, and Dad and Rob, they've got the rest. Now I've got a barbecue a bit later on this afternoon so these guys are going to go down an absolute treat but I've got to cook them first. Now for everyone wondering, I've got a companion uh, stock pot cooker set. So that comes with the big pot, the basket and, um, and the little, uh, I guess it's a little, little tripod there with a burner and pretty well everything you need to cook up crabs and prawns really easily. Now I've got five liters of water boiling away there. That's fresh water. I'm about to add in my salt. I didn't bring any salt water home because the water was a bit dirty, so I'm gonna add my salt. Uh, they reckon about 35 to 40 grams of salt per liter of water. Should be well and really burning. Uh, boiling, burning would be my hand. So in we go with this. Now you would have seen in the crabbing video, mate of mine, Lindsay, he boils his crabs with a bit of honey. Now I usually use a bit of brown sugar, but I'm gonna give the old honey trick a crack with the prawns because I reckon it's gonna go down an absolute treat. So I don't know how this is gonna work, so I don't try it just yet until I try it, until I uh, give you the results, but I'm just gonna iometer a bit in. I don't know how much, about that much will do. Sounds about right. See the water it's starting to change colour a bit. Nothing wrong with a sweet, sweet prawn. Just give that a quick mix through to make sure it's all dissolved. How good's my little windbreak? Blowing a bit of a gale at the moment, so I've got all my uh, deck chairs here to try and cut the wind down. It's uh, making it a bit difficult, but a bit surely getting there. Took a long time to boil that water, that's for sure. You probably can hear the, the wind in the mic, but yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Now I'm just gonna chuck these prawns in the basket here, and then uh, I think it might be time to get them in that boiling water and cooking away. So that's all the prawns there. There's about five liters in the basket now. Nice medium-sized prawn. That's probably about the average. There is some bigger ones in there. Ow! In there somewhere along with some smallers as well. It's a nice prawn, especially for this time of the year. It's very early season, so nice class of prawn. But they're not gonna cook themselves, so time to dump them in the water. In they go. Now you wanna make sure you've got enough water in there to cover all your prawns. Just give them a quick mix, stir around and you want to leave them there, get it back on the boil until they start to float. So you can still see them changing color already. They're not done until they start to float. So lid back on and uh, give it plenty of heat. Now while they're cooking away, I'm going to prepare my kind of iced slurry for them to go straight into after they're cooked. So you want to stop the cooking process pretty well immediately after they start to, to float. Once you get good numbers starting to come up the top and floating, then you want to take them out and you want to dump them straight in some really, really cold water. Now, the thing to remember here is you don't want to be chucking them in straight fresh water because that's going to wash out all the flavour. So you want to be cooling them down in pretty much the same solution that you're cooking them in. So salt water, the same ratio that you have in the cooker and with a bit of honey in there as well. And then you're going to leave them in there until they get cold. I reckon we're just about ready here. Yep. We're done. We're done. See those prawns are floating? Go time. Kill the gas. So that water, that's ice cold water. Take my freezer bricks out. Now you probably want to be careful here. These are going to be really, really hot. Give them a good drain. Tell you what, they look good. They definitely look good. And in we go. There's always one. There's always one. They can sit 
bit there. Now give them a good stir around to uh, get the heat out of them. Let them cool down for about. Well, the thing is, you can the longer you leave them cool down, the more they're going to take on the flavour of the water. I suggest tasting one every couple of minutes until they get just right for you. Then uh, grab them out and put them in a container to drain. I'm looking forward to the taste testing part though. It sounds red hot. Well guys, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to try the first prawn of the season, cooked with the, uh, the old honey method, or the new honey method. Haven't tried it on prawns before, I'll tell you what, if the crabs are anything to go off, it's going to be an absolute pleasure. There's something about prawning that's so rewarding, and I think I know what it is. It's this. It hasn't even got a poo shoot in there. Nah, I don't think you guys should try that. It's not very good. What you should do is cook them with that recipe, and then just bring them all to me. I tell you what guys, if you're looking for a different way to cook your prawns, give that a red hot nudge because it is absolutely superb. I'm very, very impressed. That is, uh, that is red hot. Well guys, I reckon I'm going to have a group of mates that are going to be very impressed with my contribution to the barbecue today. So, I think there's only one thing to do, that's get some beers in the fridge, go have a shower, I stink, and uh, go share them with the masses. I think there's going to be some very impressed mates of mine. Well guys, that's all we've got time for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video. The first one for 2020. Hopefully the first of some epic, epic content to come your way. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. There's plenty more to come. Uh, to everyone else, if you'd like to learn something, make sure you leave a comment below. Like the video. If you are interested in getting a hat like this one, make sure you check out www.sammyhitskyfishing.com. Until next week, guys, have a good one. Hope you're getting a few fish, or in this case, Hope you're getting a few prawns. Have a good one. One more taste tester before I put them away, I reckon. One more, one more. Mmm. You know what? Maybe I'll just tell them I didn't get any prawns and I'll just keep this lot for myself. I reckon that's a better idea. <laughs>